Okay. Good morning. If you saw this man in the street, what would you think of him? He's a homeless, maybe. But he's uh, he has no education. He does. Uh, he can't do anything to improve our, our world. He's violent, violent. But is this really true? Later in this speech, we're going to know more about him. So today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't ju judge a book by its cover. We too often judge a people, a person, by his, by their exterior. And and it, is, it happens in three steps: the cover, the page, and the summary. So the cover, the cover is the first impression. We judge a whole character of someone based on based on things like their social habits, their friendship groups, their religion, their taste in music, their sexual opinion, and the list goes on. But sometimes this, the first thing that we see is not always true. All that we are doing is creating a barrier between things we empathize and things we don't like, and thus enabling, enable uh, a method of interpretive analysis. We segregate, isolate, exclude, then we judge, condemn, and criticize. But So, to illustrate this uh, limited way of judging, I'm here to, I'm going to make an inter, uh, interactive activity. I'm going to give you guys a paper and a pen. So, before, what is this speech about? What I'm not judging, judging a book by its cover. Yeah, so what you shouldn't do? Judge. Read the book. By its cover. Should. Oh, judge, judge by its yeah. cover. So I would like to, with that in mind, let you draw the picture that I'm going to show in this board. Okay? That's it. And you have to draw this with yeah. the whole paper or just. You choose. There's just one picture we have to draw? Yeah. Everyone's ready. So you just did what I told you to not do. You are going to see something new and try to understand what that is. It creates patterns, it judges, it is harmful for you, harmful for you and what that is, that is. So after this, we step to the next stage, which is the pages. This is the most important one, because the, is when you start to know what that person really is, you start to understand it. And there are three main points to improve this process. The, know them better. This is the most obvious, but the most important one too. As you know, you should understand the people. You may show, you may know her, uh, their name, but you don't know their history. Then you do unto others what you would want them to do unto you. It's we too often judge people, but we hate when this happens to us. And finally, tolerance. We live in a crazy world, and all things are happening nowadays. So we, it's hard for us to keep silent. So if you practice tolerance in a daily basis, you'll be able to judge less other people, other person. So back to the drawing, we are going to make more details. Now you start to realize that it's not what your initial thoughts were. You don't know what 
100% that is, but we start to change our mind. And finally, the last stage, which is the summary. When you finally know what the person or the situation really are, really is. And this, imagine how many friends you could have lost if you have an, a more open mind, if you didn't judge them quite it's over. And finally, to complete the, the drawing, probably so. So if you haven't judged the figure by its initial characteristics, you should have known that it's actually a cat. <coughs> it just depends on you, on working more on it, uh, knowing them better, and if doing that, you know who the person really are, really is. Saturday's Dylan does his own laundry, the last thing. Thank you.